Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with a Fallout 4 Automatron Guide video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Codsworth hands down absolutely the most destructive companion in the wasteland that you can bring when you are taking on tough enemies. Mind you, this is my build, but I believe this is what makes him the toughest companion and also gives him the most carry weight with the highest amount of health. You are allowed to edit this however you'd like, but mind you, this is my own personal build, but I think you guys are going to like it. On top of that, it's worth mentioning that you should beat Automatron before doing this because we're going to be using a lot of mods that are only unlocked after you complete the main quest line. So once you do complete the main quest line, you're able to edit Codsworth, and once you do so, just go ahead and use a robot workstation wherever Codsworth is stationed at. So for starters with my build, I picked the Mr. Handy Torso, and the reason I did that is because it has the most mod slots to edit in a torso build. And I used Voltaic frames mainly for his build around his legs and chest, and the reason for that is because that has the most damage resistance. But since this is a melee build, I also tried to balance that out with Warmonger spike plates on the front and Warmonger serrated plates on the back, giving him additional melee damage, as well as making enemies bleed if they get too close to him. The rear hydraulic frame also gives a lot of additional carry capacity, but also gives a ton of extra damage resistance. Also for the mods, I picked resistance field in the reason for that is because it increases damage resistance of nearby allies so it really helps you out when you're fighting tough enemies considering the survival mode is coming out very soon I figured this would be helpful for a lot of us but it also seems to increase Codsworth's damage resistance making him even more tanky. For both right and left arm, I picked the sentry arms, and the reason for that is because of the fact that it does increased melee damage, and like I said, this is a melee damage build, and he does a ton of damage you'll see later on in the video, but also I picked the left hydraulic frame, and then I used a shish kebab because it's a very strong weapon alone, especially when it's a melee build, and then on top of that, it does the fire damage afterwards, as we all know. The left hydraulic frame also increases melee damage, which once again fuels our build even more. I did the same exact type of build for the right arm, except for this arm I used a hammer saw, which is easily the strongest melee weapon you can select from when creating a melee robot build. It does 114 damage on its own, and you're going to see just how much this weapon shreds in a little bit. Now, mobility is important for a robot, I believe, and I was going to originally go with the Robo Brain Treads, but I figured those were too wide, making him not able to get through certain doorways and certain buildings, and I was also going to go with the Mr. Handy Thruster, because that is the quickest way to get around, but it also makes Codsworth get staggered a lot easier. So I went for the best of both worlds with the Assaultron legs and picked the Hydraulic Frame for each armor slot. Essentially what the hydraulic frame on the legs does is gives a lot of extra damage resistance but mainly gives a lot of extra carry weight as well. Now that we have Codsworth built, you can pick whatever paint you want and go on out into the wasteland and as you can see in this gameplay here, I am playing on survival mode difficulty and this is before the new survival mode patch comes out. So mind you, this is where enemies are tanky, they do insane amounts of damage and you'll see Codsworth a, rushing them, and B, doing a lot of damage, and C, me not even shooting at them for the most part, thus showing just how good he is on his own, and if I was partaking in this battle, just how much damage we could do together, showing that this is easily one of the best builds you can make. Now, mind you, this is a build for a robot that can get around quickly, one that can attack and move into their foes very fast. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be sharing their sentry bot builds, but quite honestly, they can't get through certain doorways, they're not as reliable in certain situations, they overheat quite a bit so I figured this was a good best of all the worlds technically because we have the Mr. Handy Torso, we got the Assaultron legs, and he's primarily a melee build. If you guys want to see the best gun build, let me know in the comments down below and if we hit a ton and ton of likes, I'm not going to put a number on it, but I want to see what happens if I say this, then I'll do a best gun build for our robot. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. We'll see how this one goes, but nonetheless, I hope you guys liked my build for Codsworth. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, the links are in the description box. Check out TriggerBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.